Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jay Hart, doing my second video ever. Gonna do a review on the Timbaland Men's Squaw Canyon Waterproof Mock Toe Chuck of Boots. So first off, what's a Chuck of Boot? Uh, chuck of Boots typically made out of uh, two whole pieces of leather. It's generally got two or three eyelets and it's uh, ankle high and has a rounded toe. Uh, so to give you a little more nerd history, this actually was established uh, around World War II in Egypt and it uh, basically helped the British soldiers get uh, additional traction in the sand and keep the sand out of the inside of their boots, which I imagine could be pretty, uh, pretty annoying if you're at war. So chuck of boots are generally considered on the casual side, uh, not the dressy side. And uh, if you look at this boot, it actually looks more like a work boot to me. Uh, but interest, interesting thing about chuck of boots is that you can dress suits now. I personally wear these with uh, jeans and, and wear them around town. So why did I purchase this boot? Uh, I guess first off, I, I purchased a, a Timbaland boot, the only Timbaland boot that I've owned ever, uh, about 20 years ago when I was about 15 years old. Uh, just happened to be on sale at like a Ross and uh, you know, purchased it. It was a mock toe chuck a boot with a uh, Gore-Tex liner and looked like a, a good boot, kind of a uh, faux echo boot and I decided to purchase it and you know, I've had it for 20 years and I've used it uh, out in the woods, I've used it around the house, I've used it around town, I used to wear it really casually, now it's more of a, you know, cut in the grass kind of kind of boot for me, but uh, it's it's definitely held up in quality and I figured why not try out Timbaland and see if Timbaland's got some other boots that, uh, you know, might might fit well for wearing around town and, and something that'll keep my feet warm uh, here in Alaska when it's a little snowy uh, in the middle of the winter. So I looked online at Timbaland and I saw this boot and liked the way it looked. It was rated a 4.7 and I figured with the quality of the previous boot I had, why not give it a try? So it was 120 bucks, which is uh, not too bad considering the, the quality of the previous boot I had. I mean, 20 years for 120 bucks is pretty pretty simple. So if I get this one for another 20 years, I mean, that's uh, 10 bucks a year. So first off, uh, you know, obviously wearing these around town in, in Alaska, it uh, needs to be waterproof, and this is a waterproof boot. I haven't had any issues with it. I've gone on, you know, multiple hikes with several inches of snow, and haven't had any issues with water getting in the boot or, or water penetrating the, the, the leather. One of the issues I, I think I did find though is after I purchased it, it seemed like the, the waterproof protected on the outside of, of the boot wore off pretty quickly, so I, I definitely had to had to wax them after a couple of weeks and it hasn't been too bad. I mean, it's definitely with health sense and I think as long as you, you take care of your leather, it's, it's gonna be a long lasting boot for sure. So in terms of breathability, uh, obviously with it being waterproof, I mean, breathability is gonna be a concern and, and honestly, the, the breathability of this boot sucks. You know, I actually wore these boots uh, around town. I actually went went to a movie with my family and actually ended up having to take off the boot in the middle of the movie uh, just to let my, my feet air out a little bit because they were getting incredibly sweaty, which is pretty gross considering it's in the middle of a theater, but uh, but you know, luckily it's one of those ones where you, you can lay back and, and it's only uh, four seats in a row. In terms of comfort, this is by far the most comfortable boot I've ever owned. It's, it's like you're walking on a, a cloud of air and, and you, you know the Timbaland has a, a patent comfort uh, layer in its boot. It, it's super cushiony and you know you don't have to worry about your feet hurting at all. It, it's, it's a super comfortable boot. You know no, no, no issue with the uh, fit of the boot. fits pretty good. My foot doesn't shift around in the boot. It's not uh, too wide or too narrow on the edges of the boot. It's, it's quite perfect actually. So the construction of the boot, uh, you know, if you're paying over 100 bucks, you're generally going to be a little bit worried about that. But uh, I, I have no doubt that this boot will last, you know, 10 or 15 years if I take care of it and continue to maintain and wax the, the leather. The boot's not super heavy. I mean, generally you see a boot like this and, and with a, a sole that thick, you think it's going to be typically pretty heavy. You know, kind of like a lugs boot. If you've ever worn a lugs boot, it's like, I mean, walking around with, with two pounds on each foot. It's pretty, pretty gross but uh, this boot isn't that way. The only issue with the construction of this boot that I would say there is is uh, the ankle support. 
you know, generally with a boot, I would expect a little bit of ankle support. I mean, obviously, if it's a chuck a boot meant to be a little more uh, casual dress type, it's not going to have a lot of ankle support. But this one literally has no ankle support. I actually went for a walk with my family uh, in the woods uh, with a little bit of snow on the ground a couple of months ago. It was a nice flat trail with a couple of inches of snow. Uh, but my feet were shifting around a little bit in the snow and it was putting my, my foot at odd angles just because of the, the pressure of the snow uh, dipping in. And to be honest with you, I hurt my ankle. It, it was kind of brutal. So when I go on runs now, the inside of my ankle is a little bit tender. And uh, I, I get a little worried about it now, but uh, you know, it's the ankle support of this boot. And I, and I, I really just learned my lesson that I, sh I shouldn't wear this boot uh, if the terrain's gonna be anything other than like flat gravel. So it's really just a town shoe for me now. Three pros about this boot. First off is the price, 120 bucks isn't uh, too much considering the quality of the boots. Uh, the second is the comfort, most comfortable boot I've, I've, I've had and definitely I, I will be buying some more Timberland boots in the future. Uh, third is the quality, it's a nice good quality boot that I have no complaints about in terms of the, the construction and quality of the boot. If I had to list three cons, I guess the, the one con is the uh, breathability, the sweaty feet, it's pretty gross. Uh, if I had a list of other cons, um, well, I guess I can't really. I mean, it's a great boot. Only issue is it uh, gives me a little bit of sweaty feet, but uh, you know, if it's the middle of winter and you're wearing these, it's uh, not something you're gonna have to worry about too much, especially here in Alaska. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you soon.